Hello everyone, Nick Lego here today, and I'm reviewing set number 75966, uh, Lego Harry Potter Room of Requirement, retails for $20 in the United States, and is 193 pieces, so let's get into it. Uh, let's start with this, which I think is really cool, so... This has, like, the original, um, I can't think of the name, it's the original, um, Dumbledore's Army or whatever. I mean, I haven't watched a Harry Potter book in forever, or watched a Harry Potter movie in a very long time. Like, this is from the later movies, from movie 5, you can see there's Cedric Diggory from the original CMF series minifigures, series 1 minifigures of Harry Potter. And, let's get to the minifigures now. So here is a Death Eater, like a Death Eater dummy, which is really cool. How it stands up is on this, like, ball joint piece. I don't know what you call it. Uh, he, you can, he has the wand that you can just kind of wave or whatever. Really cool. Here's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. And here is, and as you can see, he has a, he has his, he has a flick fire thing, a magic ball energy thing. There was two of them, but I lost one of them when I fired it, so that's my B. Um, oh, right here. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's right here in Hermione's hand. Here's Hermione Granger. Pretty cool. Forgot to show his back face, but I'll show that in a minute. Uh, she's got a little bit of back print. She's got a more pissed off face. Here is Harry Potter, his back face and his back printing. So, uh, here's Looney, Luna Lovegood. Excellent minifigure. I love how they added the bottle, the bottle cap right there, like the, like the bottle cap or whatever. Uh, here is her, like, looking a little shocked or whatever. Really good character. And here are the Patronuses. I can't remember whose Patronuses is who. I think this one is Hermione's. And the rabbit is Luna's. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. So, Fox doesn't really show, does it? No. Alright. So, let's get to the room of requirement. And this one's going to be fun. So, as you can see, there is... There's a fireplace, really good. I mean, it's not just a re it's really tiny, but I don't know if it can expand with Hogwarts, but I would try it if I knew how to do this or whatever, but... So, here's the door to exit and an exit and entrance the room of requirement so they don't get caught by um, Dolores Umbridge. And let's open the back. Let's check the back out. So the back is really cool. Has stickers all over here. Stickers from the rules from the fifth movie. I've only seen parts of the fifth movie, so I barely know much about the fifth movie. So I apologize if I'm come off as a muggle. So see this part. Um, this up here. This is a play feature. I want to show you guys the first play feature. Uh, so you can like see these rules. This is back when Fred and George blew those shit out of those. So. I probably just got demonetized now. Yay, now I can put this up for not kids, because I said the SH word. And here is like, you can like kind of mix and match it a little bit, which is really nice, which I really like about that. Maybe you can make, if you got like multiple of these, you can make like a big circle, like a, like a big circle of this, like maybe like four or five, or just expand it or whatever, so. Yeah. So what you guys think about this overall? I think this is an absolutely beautiful set. I'm trying to get back into Harry Potter. So tell me what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.